when you put your arms out and open them to the community, the community opens their arms to you. Educators play a critical role in the lives of our children and our children are imprinted by their experience in formal education as well as in community education. And educators have to be the leaders in creating the change that we need in education. We have a, a tremendous moral imperative to indigenize our education system, uh, partly because we know it's what's good for our, our Aboriginal students and what's going to help them to be successful in our education system, uh, but also because uh, Indigenous people have been here in British Columbia for thousands of years. And if, if you're in a territory, you should learn about their people. Uh, so Aboriginal education really needs to be for everyone. And all of our students need to learn about Indigenous people and learn from Indigenous perspectives. Honestly, if it's not you, who else is it going to be? You're the teacher of, you know, 24 to 30 kids every year, more at the secondary level, but you're the teacher of a group of, of students every year. Look at how much influence and opportunity you have to grow our students and your own knowledge. We often say, if not here, where, for sure, but it also equally applies, if not us, who? If not now, when? And it uh, takes our focus away from waiting for conditions to be right, waiting for the right people to be in place. It just says let's get to work. I think one of the things we can do is to remember that everybody has a story and that if we bring those different stories together that's where the change start to occur. We all need to be really supportive of of the fact that we need to start somewhere uh, and starting somewhere can be from from not knowing anything about Indigenous knowledge or Indigenous education and taking that first step to try. We all have fear of something different. We all have fear of stepping into another culture and trying to get to know people who speak a different language or who think a different way. This is a Canadian issue and as Canadians we can all stand up and find our place and where we fit in all of this. Justice Sinclair called us all to a seriousness of purpose around our attitudes and beliefs as educators. And for me, what it comes down to is our will, our intent to redefine the relationship between communities and learning and education. So for teachers, for educators, for our profession, pick it up and use it. Talk about it. See how it fits locally and get out into communities. Meet with communities and say, okay, here we have something that is, um, that's contributing to our thinking. How does it fit here? How are we going to respond? How are we going to create the attributes of responsive learning?